Hey everybody, it's Echo. Welcome back to Echoia. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a random object fill in Illustrator. I've been asked a few times how to do this, so what I first am going to do is create a star using the star tool, which I've already done. Then I'm going to go to view and choose hide edges or hold control and press H as it shows you. And we're going to go to object, transform, move. I'm going to check the width of my star to know how far to move it. I'm going to double the width. So we're going to move it horizontally 100 pixels and vertically 0 pixels and then choose copy so that we have both the original and the new one moved over. Now hold control and press D and every time you press D with control held you'll get a new star. Now we're going to select this first row by clicking and dragging around them. Go to object transform move once again, this time zero pixels horizontally, and we're going to do minus 100 pixels vertically so that it moves them down, and then click copy, hold control, and press D until you filled your artboard. Now click and drag around all of your stars, then go to object, transform, and this time transform each. We're going to choose preview, and we're going to reduce our scale down to 5% horizontal and vertical. And now, since all of our stars are tiny, we're going to click random. Random is going to randomly assign a scale to each of the stars between 5% and 100% of their original size. So just by clicking that, you already see that you now have randomly sized stars in your fill. If you don't want them to be on a grid, then you're going to go to the move section and you can change this however you like. I'm going to do minus 50 pixels, which is going to be left 50 pixels basically, and then vertical 50 pixels. And you can see they just start to kind of hover around in different spots. You can also use the rotate angle option here to add more variation to what's going on, or not more variation, but to change the randomization a little bit until you have what you like. I like this one. I think it looks nice. So we're just going to click OK. And when you go back to your to your um, file, you can actually click each of these separately. They're all still their own shape. And so you can start giving them different colors. And you can add to the randomization that way. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. I know that Illustrator is very precise, but you can obviously now see that you can add random elements to it. This is really helpful for a lot of different types of um, art and design. You can use this to create like paint splatters and things like that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.